God bless everybody today. It is May 22nd of 2024 and this is a report on Turkey. Turkey's getting ready to do a mobilization into Iraq and Syria and Erdogan is in the process of doing a power grab so that he has complete control over this mobilization and that's exactly what's happened today. This is an unprecedented move for Erdogan to assume authority to declare mobilization because this usually is done by the ministry uh, cabinet and now he has basically seized power to uh, start his campaign down into Syria and Iraq and so uh, this has just happened today this is huge news because this will give him the ability to do exactly what he wants to do as his economy and lira are basically collapsing and his approval ratings are falling so um, just wanted to bring this information to you. This happened today. I believe, as I've said for a while, that he'll start his invasion sometime in May, early June at the latest, uh, because he wants to do this mobilization and stabilization of Iraq and Syria approximately by the end of summer. He just got that zone of 200 uh, by 25 mile zone in Iraq. So if you go to my Facebook page, um, you go to James Boldemeyer or End of Day Survival. A lot of times I post these uh, real-time uh, articles out here so you guys can see them. Um, I had indicated and done a video that he had secured, and this is extremely important because this will give him unfeathered uh, approach into Iraq. Um, Syria is a different matter because he doesn't get along with um Assad over there, but um, this will give him a 300 kilometer by 40 kilometer, approximately 200 or so by 25 mile area that he'll be able to control. And so he's just set this up recently. And now with this uh, control of the uh, cabinet ministry to allow him to consolidate power and mobilize uh, the army military into these areas with complete control uh, by Erdogan is a huge uh, event um, that's happened just uh, in the last day or so. Now this has not occurred since like 1990 because um, that's what I mean this is unprecedented. Since 1990 the uh, minister of the cabinet um, or the ministerial cabinet has the ability oh, this is an extremely unprecedented move because um, this mobilization and state of war uh, regulation replaced by the previous regulation which had been placed in since 1990. So this is something that's been a standing uh, you know, law um, thing that they've been following for you know, 30, 33 years and now he comes in and then adjusts it so that he has basic control over the defense of this country and um, if you go into the news he's threatening Israel right now with a couple things again he's um, threatening Israel with potential genocide um, of the or um, let's say that differently so Erdogan's been all over uh, Netanyahu about his genocidal policies which he states that are going on in uh, Gaza, um, down around Rafa and all these different areas. Um, Israel is trying to do their best in high population to eliminate the threats and get their hostages back. Hamas could just release the hostages and um, change this dynamic overnight but they won't do that and so Erdogan is doing everything possible to eliminate um, and get ready to go down into Syria and Iraq. Now there's a number of articles here on his consolidation of power to the point where he's even possibly talking about changing the constitution okay so look he's building the new Ottoman Empire and he's getting ready to go into the Middle East with the new Ottoman Empire against Israel and the Christians and Jews with a new caliphate or whatever they want to call it against the Gentiles and Jews so you need to understand what's getting ready to come up here this is going to happen anytime probably before the end of the month first part of June at the latest 
and he's been in there for over 20 years and he's not the most liked president at this point as his approval rating is falling below 40 percent because the lira is collapsing his inflation is approximately around 70 percent last month and i'm not sure most people here in the united states can wrap their head around exactly what 70 percent inflation would be it would be insane you can't imagine what your fuel prices and things would be you think it's tough trying to fight off potentially let's say seven percent inflation which they're telling you know, they're, they're not telling you the proper information out here on inflation anyway and every time you go to the grocery store fill up your tank or whatever you can tell that that inflation is much higher than they're telling you but to have 70 percent inflation this is this has been going on for some time this is not an overnight sensation for turkey and so turkey's in a really tough situation erdogan's just been re-elected and so he's got another you know term to work through here and so he's going to go to war because that's how you repair economies when they start to collapse another problem that turkey has is they have no growth in their birth rate and so this is always a way at jap japan's having the same issue they have no growth they have no population expansion and so because of that their gdp is is failing their economy is overburdened with debt and so a lot of these economies are basically exponentially just failing and so this is where we're going to end up soon as we basically spend ourselves into a hole and we hyperinflate ourselves as everybody starts uh, liquidating our bonds and sending them back home because they don't want dollars anymore because their economies are collapsing due to the strength of the dollar against the other currencies out here. So what would happen? The government starts selling up bonds. Those bonds come home. They hyperinflate us and then we end up in a worse condition than we already are. And Erdogan has stated his first and top priority is to stop the bloodshed of Israel against the Palestinians in Gaza. And I talked about this timeline in my chart that says that he will be in Tyre, Lebanon by July, end of July, and into Gaza, helping the Palestinians, trying to take this area over, trying to do co total control of this whole block of area and he will control the whole middle east by the end of the year but he's going to come down in to gaza by october as alexander the great had happened and look he's stating this in his own format that he's going to go down and deal with this problem we have been exerting intensive efforts to stop the bloodshed in Gaza and prevent Israel's attacks. Turkey is the top provider of humanitarian aid to Gaza, dispatching nearly 54,000 tons of aid. And so he's extremely concerned about these Palestinians and how he's going to help his Muslim brothers, okay? And once we get into this war and Turkey starts to compress this area and create a major refugee issue even more so than we have it's going to compress this area down towards the south towards Israel and cause all kinds of problems then you're going to watch a breakout of Hezbollah on top of this as we move forward because they're going to be an ally to Turkey as well as Hamas will be and Iran's going to get left in the dust here before this one's over because like I say these are Muslims, not Persians, okay? These people in Palestine and Lebanon and these areas, Golan Heights and all these areas are mostly Muslims and they're going to follow the Muslim Brotherhood and those groups of people and they're not going to follow the Persians before long, but they were using them to basically hit Israel with weapons and things like that because it was to their advantage at the time. But that is getting ready to change here and Erdogan is getting ready to come in and deal with this because he is concerned about these 35,000 Palestinian brothers and sisters, mostly women and civilians that have been martyred and 80,000 wounded. Look at how he states that. This is extremely important. This is getting ready to break out. I've been talking about May for a while and how this man is getting ready to change 
this dynamic and how he is the white horseman of revelation and he's going to bring a quarter of the world into war god bless everybody get your oil in your lamp this one getting ready to start up and you need to get ready